On Cities is one step closer to going green on the Mississippi River, all thanks to a major grant from the Federal Transit Administration. The money will bring the first battery electric ferry to the Channel Cat fleet. tv 6s is Wafa as it is live now with how this new project will position the Quad Cities as a leader in green transit. Wafa. This $8 million grant is part of the Biden administration's push to modernize ferry systems nationwide. Through this grant, Metrolink will be able to uh, uh, add its new electric ferry to the Channel Cat fleet. We have had great success with our battery electric bus fleet, and so this was just a natural next step for us in our electrification journey. The project, however, isn't just about the ferry itself. It will go for planning, it will go for design, uh, the construction, the purchase of the electric ferry boat, and then also the charging infrastructure uh, that goes hand in hand with that electric ferry, and then any land side improvements we might need uh, to put in place to support the infrastructure. And this is just the latest step in Metrolink's push for sustainable transit in the Quad Cities. It's always been one of our number one strategic goals is to make sure we are doing everything we can uh, to create a greener, cleaner uh, Quad Cities. So we've done that with our compressed natural gas vehicles, our battery electric uh, buses, our entire bus fleet is 100% eco-friendly. We do not have any diesels. Uh, so now as we transition to electric ferries, that will again just help us continue uh, that commitment to a greener Quad Cities. Metrolink hopes a new project will improve the ride for passengers while also reducing the region's carbon footprint. Anytime you can put a low emitting vehicle out on the street, whether it be a car or a bus or a ferry, you're doing something to improve the environment. And so again, that is just part of our overall goal to be that sustainable leader, uh, to provide green, clean transportation options for Quad city Cityans, whether it be uh, through a bus or a ferry. Metrolinx wants the ferry, uh, the electric ferry to set sail by 2026 with plans to set up the charging uh, equipment needed to power the ferry at the new dock in East Moline. Live in Moline, Wafa is at TV6 News. All right, thank you, Wafa. This project is one of six selected specifically to upgrade their fleet with an electric ferry boat. A total of 18 projects were chosen nationwide for ferry boat funding.